For those of you that follow us on our narrow boat channel, Narrow Escape, you might have seen the video of us exploring the little Yorkshire village of Thornton in Craven back in episode 109. If you haven't seen the video, then please do give it a watch. Anyway, after we edited and published the video, we researched the existence not only of the railway line that ran between the towns of Colne and Skipton, but also of the existence of nearby Thornton and Craven Quarry, or Thornton Limestone Works, as it was known back then. Now, the exact opening and closing dates of the quarry aren't known, but it closed before World War II, and it had its own narrow gauge branch off of the main line, which purely serviced the quarry works, which were owned and operated by P.W. Spencer. In this video, we go and see if we can find whatever may be left of the quarry a hundred years on and just absorb the atmosphere. Sometimes just going for a bit of an explore without being armed with all the facts is just the ticket. So without further ado, we have a quarry to go and try and find. Right, here it is. This is the bridge. This is the railway bridge that goes over the road, goes over the old Roman road. So the railway line would have continued up here and presumably because there's a road and you can see a level difference there must be a tunnel here unless the road was built after well i don't know let's see shall we i don't know don't know oh gosh right <laughs> it's a bit of a stream now somebody might be pumping water oh wowzers how cool is that? Look, there's a tunnel there. Oh, yes. Gosh, look at the amount of water there. Not wearing wellies today. amazing to see that tunnel down there that is so cool so cool that must be the site of the quarry up there There it is, there's the other end of the tunnel. So that's where the trains would have come out and, and entered. God, it's so peaceful here. I have no idea how stable that is, so I'm not going to stand on it. But yeah, I mean, into the quarry it went. Look how tall the sides are. I have no idea if this is going to come out on camera, but just look, if you can, how steep that face is. Look at that, if you slid from the top of there, you'd know about it. God, what a gorgeous place this is. What would this be, do you think? Why is there suddenly a... Uh... I don't know. Is that the controlling water in some way? There's a sort of entrance point here, isn't there? What does that do? There's nothing corresponding on the other side. Unless it was a crane foundation or something, maybe? Who knows? 
post up if you do or if you've got an idea oh my word that is absolutely stunning oh my word so I want to get the drone up here and have a bit of a flight and just see what this looks like from the air but before I do there is a serious point to be made uh, I know kids think this could think this looks fabulous and on a hot summer's day what a great way to cool down but there are many many examples of of children adults even but children in particular thinking they're having a bit of fun get into trouble and drown and yeah, there's just, just don't do it. As tempting as this might be, never, never, ever swim in quarries. All right, let's have a flight, shall we? See what this looks like. This angle here is a perfect time to just quickly stop the video and show you some old photographs that I found when researching the quarry. The first image here is taken early on in the quarry's life cycle and you can see they're using nothing more than horses and carts. And then this image here was taken in the 1920s and this is where it gets really interesting. So we've got a proper system going on now, we've got rail tracks and we've got machines doing the job. Uh, that the horses used to do and you can see we've got different levels going on here as well. Now I'm standing broadly where this cart, this rail cart would be if it had continued down the track 
and the entrance to the tunnel is around this corner just here. The piece of infrastructure at the start of the video that I wasn't prepared to stand on because I didn't know how stable it was probably related to this building here. And the stone pieces that were lying around at the start of the video were from this building. So it's obviously collapsed and, and gone, but it was this building that left all of that stone. And it looks like it was a train shed where perhaps they stored all the trains and the carts. And the sort of square structure that I mentioned earlier on in the video, what was this, does anyone know, is likely to be attached to whatever this pipe system or gully system is here. And I will admit to having goosebumps when I found this picture, to think that all of this stuff was here back in the day and I've, I've effectively walked where these chaps are now was, uh, yeah, pretty, <laughs> pretty cool. Anyway, I'll let the drone go now and we'll fly over this area. So I hope you, uh, you enjoyed that short explore. We just see these places or, or we find them when we're researching other things and you think, yeah, we should capture that, we should video that and get the footage out so everybody else can enjoy it so we can share it with you guys. So this was one of those places. We thought, yeah, let's go for it. Um, yeah, it's been a relatively short video, but it's been enough to get muddy. <laughs> I'll show you my uh, trouser legs. <laughs> one sec. Hang on, Mister. Yeah, so muddy, muddy enough to create all of um, all of that sort of chaos. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, look forward to bringing you some more shorts as well, some sort of shorter videos alongside the uh, the main explorations. <laughs> the main explorations. Catch you on the next one.